Uh, I'm James Earl. I was recently hired on the local motors as an advanced manufacturing engineer. Previous to that, I've worked at Oak Ridge National Lab for a couple of years in the added manufacturing area. So um, talk to me a little bit about um, this PLA and carbon fiber idea. So the idea behind reinforcing plastics with carbon fiber is sort of twofold. Uh, Obviously, you get a lot of a lot more strength out of the reinforced um, plastics than you do out of the out of the neat forms of the plastic. Uh, for PLA and ABS, both you can at least double the strength of the plastic by reinforcing the carbon fiber. Uh, another really big advantage of it is reducing the thermal effect that um, a cooling the cooling has on plastic. Uh, it's, most plastics have very high provisions of thermal expansion or CTE. Um, for carbon fiber, it's very close to zero, uh, sometimes even negative for specific carbon fibers, but it, it helps reduce the, the thermal effects on the plastic a lot, um, which in turn allows us to print larger parts um, on a large scale system and allows us to print parts that don't deform on the smaller scale systems where we're not printing in a heated environment. Recently, Local Motors and Oak Ridge National Lab has announced a new partnership. Um, so talk to me a little bit about how this new PLA and carbon fiber might relate to the new partnership, specifically Local Motors. So one of the main reasons that Local Motors partnered with Oak Ridge National Lab is Oak, Ridge, Oak Ridge's ability to do very, very large scale 3D printing. Uh, we have one of the largest 3D printers in the world, um, prints but right now we're working with a volume of about eight feet by eight feet by seven feet. Um, so we want to be able to print a car. Uh, and then using carbon fiber, we can reinforce the ABS that we've been printing with before so that the load bearing members of the car are able to withstand all the forces that are involved in driving a car. And we're able to reduce weight by not using quite as much plastic as we'd have to with regular ABS. Um, also, since we don't have in a heated environment to print the car in, we need the reinforced plastic so that uh, the, the very long, straight pieces of the car don't peel up from the base or damage the machine when it's trying to print over them, which is a possibility with uh, regular ABS. Excellent. And um, there is going to be, well, there actually already is a project up on Locomotors Co-Create page um, so that people can follow along with this 3D printed car project. And you're, you're going to be active on that page, right? I am. Yes, I am already. Awesome. Awesome. Well, anyone who wants to follow that, um, just go to localmotors.com slash co-create and you can search for the project there. Thank you so much for your time, James. My pleasure. Thank you. Bye.